This is the, the vacuum bee. Um, this is a swarm catching uh, bee vacuum that I've invented and it's online at vacuumbee.com. Uh, I'm just going to demonstrate on how to uh, use it and catch a swarm. Here is the swarm. All you need uh, is the vacuum cleaner. Uh, you got your vacuum bee bucket. Inside uh, your vacuum bee bucket, you have the inner uh, capture chamber. Uh, basically, the bees get sucked in here, uh, and you can open the door and dip, put them in the hive. Uh, you'll see that after I get them uh, sucked up. You'll see there's nothing in the bucket. Uh, the plexiglass goes towards the nozzle here. You just slide it in. You have your lid. Uh, this is a pressure relief valve, so you can uh, adjust your suction as you're sucking up the bees. This here just goes right down into the nozzle, like that. Okay. You hook your vacuum cleaner there, and you hook your suction hose onto there. At this point, I'm just going to leave this open until I need to uh, adjust my uh, vacuum pressure. Uh, we'll get started and we'll start getting a swarm. not sucking up the uh, bees like I want so I'll go over here and I'll just the suction and this will create more of a, of a suction to get the bees in Coming in. 
gonna wait just a minute, uh, let them ball up again. We got the queen already in the uh, chamber box, but I'm just gonna wait till they ball up and uh, try to get a few more. Um, the ones I don't get, we'll just go return back to the original hive they came from. So, but as you can see, using the vacuum bee uh, on, a, on, a, on a tree like this, it's so much easier to get around and you can suck them up without actually having to do harm to your tree. Um, or just letting the swarm uh, dissipate by itself. I think that's enough that I'm gonna suck up. I'm gonna go back to the to the bucket itself. Shut the back. Just go ahead and shut the vacuum off. You pull your lid off. Then you just flip your your lid over the hole right there. Pull your bucket out. Your, 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 your inner chamber. And you can see the bees are captured. They're not hurt. They don't look stressed. And they're ready to be uh, transported back to the hive. So uh, why don't we go to the hive and I'll show you how we, we put them back in.